Welcome to Pathology Central Key Concepts. This video topic is tobacco. So we're looking at this in the context of environmental pathology because tobacco has a tremendous impact on health. Now, when we're talking about tobacco, what we're really thinking about here is going to be cigarette smoking. We know that cigar smoking and pipe smoking have a smaller impact on health, uh, and smokeless tobacco is primarily associated with your oral uh, carcinomas. So let's go ahead and talk about the various diseases associated with tobacco use and the different mechanisms by which uh, tobacco smoking contributes to disease. So why are we even focusing on tobacco? Because tobacco is a huge problem in public health. It is the most common exogenous carcinogen and the most important cause of preventable human death. Now, when I think about uh, tobacco smoking, uh, probably the first thing that comes to my mind is lung cancer. And the reason for that is about 80 to 90% of lung cancers are associated with cigarette smoking. But that's not just the extent of the problem. There are lots of other malignancies that are also associated with uh, tobacco use, as well as cardiovascular disease, respiratory issues, and the fetus. So about 20% of all cardiovascular deaths uh, are related to cigarette smoking. And if you think about you know, the, the organ system that's really going to be affected as well by smoking, that's going to be your lungs. You're bringing all of those chemicals and toxins right into your lungs. This is going to lead to emphysema, asthma, chronic bronchitis. And if um, a mother is smoking while pregnant, this can lead to intrauterine growth retardation as well as some birth defects. So let's just talk about the mechanisms in general, because as you look at each organ system in Robin's pathology, you're going to talk about uh, the different diseases. But let's think on the big picture. What is it that tobacco smoke is doing to the body? So the first thought is going to be carcinogenesis. You're bringing in about 7,000 chemicals in each puff of cigarette smoke, and about 250 of those are known to be harmful. Now, there are a lot of them, and they all have different effects, but we know the effects of some of them. So polycyclic hydrocarbons and nitrosamines are known to cause DNA damage. Uh, when you have that DNA damage, if it's not repaired by P53, which incidentally doesn't work as well uh, in, uh, when, it's, when you have someone who's smoking, if you're not repairing that DNA damage, this can lead to mutations that uh, then uh, lead to uh, malignancy. So uh, cigarette smoke is going to uh, increase free radicals and oxidative stress brought on by these chemicals, uh, and this oxidative stress can once more affect uh, DNA. Now, P53, as I mentioned, the guardian of the genome, we have a video on that, uh, is not as effective because of the chemicals in cigarette smoke. Therefore, we have an increased risk of mutations not being corrected and being propagated on to cause malignancy. And finally, when we think about carcinogenesis, nicotine will suppress T cells. T cells are important for immunosurveillance. They go through the uh, body looking for neoantigens and where they find something, whether it's associated with a pathogen or perhaps a neoantigen uh, from a malignancy, they can then attack that cell. With uh, suppressed T cells, you get decreased immunosurveillance. Now, that cigarette smoke, we all know how irritating it is, right? And it's going to cause inflammation. This is going to bring neutrophils into the area. They're going to release elastase. And that elastase is going to dissolve the alveolar walls, leading to uh, emphysema. When you have that, you're going to end up with a ventilation perfusion mismatch. And you can even end up with uh, pulmonary hypertension. Now, this uh, irritant effect is going to uh, drive us towards metaplasia in order for the uh, delicate ciliated columnar mucosa to shift the more uh, protective squamous uh, epithelium. Now, when that happens, you're going to lose your mucociliary elevator at the same time that this irritation is increasing mucus production. This is going to lead to bronchitis, and the stasis of this mucus is a perfect uh, uh, medium for bacteria to proliferate and grow, leading to pneumonia. Now, here we've been talking about the lungs, but as I mentioned earlier, there are a lot of cardiovascular issues uh, with cigarette smoking. So as we talked about in the uh, atherosclerosis uh, lecture, uh, cigarette smoke is directly toxic to endothelial cells, and it also activates them. And activation is going to make uh, them more thrombogenic and increase uh, platelet aggregation. The uh, activated uh, endothelium is pro-inflammatory as well. So all of this is taking us towards atherosclerosis. 
As I mentioned, cigar cigarette smoke is going to increase free radicals in the body. This is going to help oxidize our LDL cholesterol, which is part of our atheromatous plaque, driving us towards inflammation. Inflammation has an impact on the stability of that atherosclerotic plaque. Uh, we're also going to see that, uh, af that uh, tobacco smoking will uh, change the lipid profile, also driving us towards atherosclerosis. Now, atherosclerosis alone is going to make us be uh, more prone to myocardial infarction and cerebrovascular uh, accidents. But there is another component, which is that nicotine is going to bind to receptors in the brain, activating the sympathetic uh, nervous system, which is going to increase your heart rate, increasing your O2 demand. At the same time, you are going to be getting decreased oxygen to the heart because of vasoconstriction from our, uh, from our nicotine, as well as from our damaged lungs, getting less oxygen there. And through unknown mechanisms, we have a decreased threshold for ventricular fibrillation, leading us to the risk of MI. Finally, there are a lot of different uh, components that can contribute to harm to the fetus. There will be structural changes to the placenta that will affect oxygenation, as well as decreased oxygenation due to vasospasm. And as you bring in cigarette smoke, you're bringing in carbon monoxide, which is going to increase your carboxyhemoglobin, which is going to shift your uh, oxygen uh, dissociation curve and make it more challenging for the fetus to get the oxygen it needs. There are all the toxins uh, that are in uh, cigarette smoke, and nicotine in particular is going to have an uh, effect on the lungs and the brain. It's going to increase the heart rate while decreasing breathing movement. So these are some of the mechanisms that you'll see in each organ system as you talk about uh, the different pathologies that you see. Now this is an image from Robin's Pathologic Basis of Disease going over the uh, cancers as well as the chronic diseases uh, associated with cigarette smoking. Uh, I'm going to go through uh, all of these, well not all of these, I'm going to go through a lot of these in the next couple of slides. I just wanted to point out a couple of things uh, regarding um, uh, ocular uh, issues that are associated not just with uh, cigarette smoking but also with nicotine. So that means that e-cigarettes uh, also increase your risk for some of these ocular issues. Uh, aortic aneurysm, which I'll talk about and show you in a moment, is going to be due to increased matrix degradation and decreased uh, repair. Tuberculosis was recently uh, recognized as being associated uh, with uh, cigarette smoking. It's thought to be due to altered immune response and increased lung injury. Uh, diabetes, um, also uh, newly recognized to be associated with smoking, it's thought to be due to uh, increased uh, insulin resistance as well as a change in the hip waist ratio, uh, which is going to uh, drive you towards uh, diabetes. Now we know that there's reduced fertility uh, in women uh, due to tubal and cervical changes uh, as well as some damage to gametes. Uh, and ectopic pregnancy is thought to perhaps be due to decreased tubal motility as the cilia aren't beating as effectively. Hip fractures uh, are seen through a variety of mechanisms. It's actually amazing how complicated this particular uh, pathogenesis is. We have uh, increased bone loss through a variety of reasons. One is due to decreased BMI because smoking is going to suppress appetite. Smoking also is going to increase cortisol, which is going to drive you towards osteoporosis. You'll also get uh, in increased uh, bone resorption due to oxidative stress. And nicotine itself is going to decrease osteogenesis as well as angiogenesis. Regarding erectile dysfunction in men, we know that cigarette smoking is going to affect the nitric oxide signal transduction pathway. And some of the medications that are used for erectile dysfunction work to deal with the nitric oxide uh, pathway. And then finally, when we think about something like rheumatoid arthritis, there are, is again a lot uh, of different um, uh, mechanisms here. So you have increased oxidative stress and inflammation, uh, autoantibodies, and uh, as well as apoptosis, all increase uh, risk of um, rheumatoid arthritis. So I'm going to just sort of show you a bunch of images. You'll see these again as you go through Robbins, but I want to share them with you now so that as you're learning about tobacco in the environmental pathology chapter, you'll recognize how big an issue this is, and that you're going to see this again and again. So here is uh, an image of acute myeloid leukemia. Uh, it's thought that the uh, link here is through benzene, uh, which is uh, in cigarette smoke, uh, and which is a known etiologic factor uh, in AML. 
Here we see our beautiful atherosclerotic coronary artery with our oxidized LDL cholesterol here in the necrotic core and our activated uh, thrombogenic uh, endothelium uh, here uh, with the risk of clot. This is a, a, a beautiful image of a lung uh, which has got a centroacinar emphysema due to cigarette smoking. As you recall, you're bringing in this uh, irritating smoke that's going to bring in inflammation like neutrophils releasing their elastase, dissolving your alveolar walls. Instead of there being just tiny pores for each alveolus, you can see these large holes. And this is because the alveolar walls have been dissolved away. This is uh, a squamous cell carcinoma of the esophagus. One thing to keep in mind about uh, tobacco smoke is that uh, it actually synergizes with other carcinogens. So risk of squamous cell carcinoma of the esophagus is associated with alcohol use as well as uh, cigarette smoking. These act synergistically, so the risk of doing both of these is worse than uh, the risk of doing either alone. It's more than uh, simply additive. And we see that as well with the risk of um, pulmonary carcinoma uh, in individuals exposed to asbestos who also smoke cigarettes. Cigarette smoking, as I mentioned before, is highly correlated with uh, pulmonary carcinoma, two in particular, squamous cell carcinoma, as well as small cell carcinoma, which you can see here. This is uh, a cleft palate, uh, which is associated with cigarette smoking. Uh, the mechanism is not known. We also do not know the mechanism for renal cell carcinoma. This is a beautiful uh, clear cell carcinoma. Also involved in the uh, GU tract is the bladder. So this is a, a very aggressive uh, muscle invasive uh, urothelial uh, carcinoma of the bladder. We have areas of necrosis shown here in yellow. This is a beautiful glomerulus with chemosteel Wilson nodules that are uh, associated with diabetes. As I mentioned, uh, the link between tobacco smoking and diabetes is thought to be uh, increased uh, insulin resistance. And this uh, should be familiar from the atherosclerosis uh, uh, video. This is looking at an abdominal aortic aneurysm. You can see uh, the proximal aorta here as well as the iliac vessels. And in the atherosclerosis uh, video, I really emphasize the role of atherosclerosis uh, in uh, triple A's, but actually smoking is a much more significant risk factor than atherosclerosis. And I mentioned before that's due to uh, ineffective repair of matrix and increased um, degradation of the matrix. All right, one more set of images. Here is a cataract. Uh, which is, I mentioned before, is associated with smoking, perhaps due to oxidative stress uh, or to heavy metals uh, present in uh, tobacco smoke. Hepatocellular carcinoma is linked to a number of carcinogens uh, in uh, cigarette smoke, uh, as is uh, colonic adenocarcinoma, which you see here. By contrast, here is a beautiful example of an intestinal type uh, gastric carcinoma, which, uh, as you recall from the neoplasia chapter in Robbins, is associated with Helicobacter pylori. Well, there's a particular variant of H. pylori, which has got uh, the uh, positive for the uh, CAGA gene. And when you have that particular strain and you have uh, tobacco smoke, that once more synergistic driving you towards intestinal type adenocarcinoma. Here is uh, a squamous cell carcinoma of the oropharynx, once more synergistic between tobacco smoke and alcohol. Now, by contrast, here we have uh, a pancreatic carcinoma. Here's the main pancreatic duct. And in the tail, the pancreas is this infiltrative uh, uh, pancreatic adenocarcinoma, and here is the histology here. It's thought that the, um, uh, the risk here is due to inflammation and fibrosis. That's what uh, uh, tobacco smoke is, is driving uh, towards here. This is um, uh, a fallopian tube, and in the lumen uh, is something which is not supposed to be there. These are chorionic villi. So ectopic pregnancy is, is increased uh, in, um, in individuals who smoke, uh, and once more, it's thought this may be due to cilial uh, dysfunction. Uh, we have uh, some cilia here in our, uh, um, in our bronchial tree. And uh, here we are undergoing uh, some squamous metaplasia. As you recall from uh, what we learned earlier in uh, cell injury uh, in Robbins, metaplasia is a setup for malignancy. So while it is protective from those irritants uh, in the uh, tobacco smoke, it is increasing your risk of malignancy. 
This is a, a ureter, uh, which also has a urothelial carcinoma. So when we think about the risk of um, uh, carcinomas of the GU tract associated with, um, with smoking, we have ureter, we have kidney, and we have the bladder. Uh, and then finally, just one more image here uh, to, this is this uh, image that's classic for rheumatoid arthritis showing our ulnar deviation. And I uh, discussed the uh, risk factors there associated with tobacco smoking, which are going to be increased inflammation, apoptosis, uh, autoantibodies, oxidative stress. All right, so this has been just a gallop around the world of what tobacco and particular cigarette smoking does to the body. Uh, keep this in mind as you're going through each organ system. I hope that this has been a good uh, sort of overview of the mechanisms to think about. And just some questions to ask yourself are what are the major mechanisms by which cigarette smoking contributes to carcinogenesis? How does cigarette smoking increase risk of atherosclerosis? And next question is how does it increase uh, risk for myocardial infarction and stroke? Because understand these uh, cancer, atherosclerosis, myocardial infarction and stroke are going to help you to take care of your patients. As always, thank you very much for your time. Feel free to email me uh, comments down below.